What's up everybody, this is Derek here and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be comparing the Belkin Boost Up Wireless Charging Pad and the Mophie Wireless Charging Base. These are both $60, so at the time of this uh, video, which is December 2017, these chargers are both $60. Bucks. Um, there might be a sale, there might be a discount, but the MSRP is 60 on each of them, which makes them some of the most expensive Qi uh, wireless chargers out there. But they are both, they're, they're the two chargers that Apple um, officially supports with the iPhone 8, 8 Plus, and 10. They support up to 7.5 watts of power delivery for phones, uh, for iPhones that are running iOS 11.2 or later. There are a couple others, the Insignia and the RAV Power, are two of them, I'm sure there are more, uh, that also support 7.5 watts, but these are the ones that Apple pushes as your premium Qi wireless charger. So I figured if you're between them, uh, why not? take a look at both and see how they compare to each other. So again, if you want to see an unboxing of the Belkin or the Mophie, I'll annotate links on top of the uh, the boxes here. That way you can watch what's in them and my initial impressions. This video is just going to be a comparison between the two, tell you what I like, what I don't like about both of them. Uh, they both have their, their good and their bad points. And I'll let you make up your mind as to which which charger is worthy of sixty dollars, or or neither one, honestly, because you know you can buy cheaper chargers too. I'm not going to judge you. Um, so first off, we're just going to take a super quick look at the box here. This is so it's like a it's a soft cardboard. I'd say it's not corrugated or anything. Um, it feels it feels decent. It doesn't really feel anything special. You know, it's got the say the picture there. The Mophie is definitely the better unboxing experience. The box is um, it's just harder, it's sturdier. It's got a little pull tab here. The whole thing's magnetic. So you can see my empty box. Um, they have a magnet over here as well as in the, the case. So basically it'll shut and then it'll stay closed. So again, it's not a big deal. Just a more premium experience than having to you know, go here and pop out the pull tab and open the thing up and then unbox it. Um, some people care about that, some people don't. If you care about unboxing Apple props, you know that they they tend to be a pretty like streamlined, cool experience to open one of the Apple boxes. This is kind of more like that. So once you get into the boxes, you will see, hopefully, hopefully you'll see these. Otherwise, you purchased an empty box. Um, so we have the Mophie over here, so I'm going to put that over here, and then I'm going to put the Belkin over here. You can see. The Belkin is white, the Mophie's black. Um, for some people that's going to make a difference just because uh, if you have, say, the Apple Watch, I'm just going to move this down for a second, just like that. If you have the um, if you have an Apple Watch and you have the Apple Watch charging stand here, um, this is the Apple one. I'm sure there are you know there are a bunch of other ones out there, but this is the Apple one, which has to be white, of course, because it's Apple. Um, this will go a lot better with the Belkin, you know, if you're putting them together on a nightstand. But otherwise, I kind of like the black better. I, I, I'm not a huge fan of you know the the rainbow lights of other charging bases saying, "Hey, look, my phone is charging wirelessly. This is the future." I really don't care. Um, I'd rather have something that's that's not that in your face all the time. I'd rather just have something more subdued like the Mophie. So the first thing we notice, or one of the one of the first things we notice, is just how much bigger the uh, the Belkin is. So they they both come with, and you could say this is an advantage or a disadvantage. Uh, I think it's a disadvantage personally, but both of them come with AC adapters, proprietary AC adapters. So we're going to just take those out of the way right now, and we're going to focus on the charge pads themselves. So let's see if we can zoom in a little more just so you can get a better idea of what they look like. We'll take a look at the front here. You can see here's the uh, the Belkin logo. It's got a, uh, a non-slip ring here. This is like a, a rubber that's very um, sticky. 
so your phone or your phone case will uh, grip on this and it won't slide off. The rest is soft touch. This is also soft touch, very similar to this material, just different color obviously. And then here is your same ring that prevents the phone from slipping out. I've used both of these um, at night uh, on like a nightstand and I haven't had an issue with either one, uh, the phone sliding off of it. They're on um, pretty securely. And then the bases themselves, we'll flip them over here. The bases themselves also do not slide around. Um, this entire bottom is a very grippy material and again with the Belkin same thing. You can see here the Belkin um, model number and you know propped info is right here, serial number, and then on the Mophie it's down here. Uh, the only other difference really is that the light for the Mophie, it's very hard to see. Let's say I don't know if you'll even see it in video. Um, the light for the Mophie is right over I believe it's here. It's actually on the bottom of the uh, the charger, and the light for the Belkin is over here on the top of the charger. Both of them aren't very bright. Both of them would work well in a bedroom, um, in dark or in a dark room. Neither one's that distracting. The Belkin is a lot larger though, and that is kind of a big deal. Um, some people might prefer the larger size of the uh, the charging base. This is a uh, roll of toilet paper for your for your comparison pleasure because everybody's used one. You can see that the Belkin is almost as large as a full roll of toilet paper. So I mean that, that's pretty big, and the uh, the Mophie's obviously quite a bit smaller than that. So again, not a very not a very scientific comparison. So it looks like we've got because they're round. They're basically round. Um, looks like we've got about four point six five or so inches. Four point six six. Um, across, let's see, we'll see again, yeah, 4.66, whereas the Mophie is, um, let's see what that would be, Mophie's just around 3.8, 3.78, 3.78, 9, somewhere around there, so you can see quite a bit, um, quite a bit smaller, we'll see which one's thinner too, we'll just do that quick, just for fun, this one, I'm getting about 0.44 of an inch, and this one, it's going to be a little bit thicker, it looks like. This one's going to be about 0 0.555. So, and while we're comparing them, I'll also just grab a little scale here. We'll see uh, which one weighs more. I can tell you already the Mophie weighs more. Um, again, that's kind of something, you know, some people might prefer that, some people might not. The Belkin is 110.7 grams. And then we'll go ahead, in case you're uh, traveling with it, and, you know, it matters what the weight of the charger is. We'll put that on here too, see if we can get that to stay. There we go. So you can see here, 227 roughly, 226.8 grams um, total. And then we'll go ahead with the Mophie. We'll see what that weighs. It's probably going to weigh just as much without the... That's 154.4. And then we'll go ahead and put the uh, adapter on it. 243.2 so it's a little bit more um, actually this adapter is quite a bit lighter than the Belkin but the the pad is a lot heavier so you know it almost it almost equals out um, but the the Mophie is a little bit heavier there so now that we've gotten a, a rough size comparison weight comparison between them I say we'll see here just take a uh, here's an iPhone 10 We'll see if we can get them either one to slide around. Not really. I mean, I'm pushing with a bit of effort, you know, against this um, cardboard, and it's really not going anywhere. It's on wood or something. I mean, maybe the Belkin's a little slipperier. Not much. I'd say they're both very good at keeping your phone where it should be and not on the floor damaged, uh, which is good with the uh, the cost of the phones nowadays. So let's take a look now at the AC adapters and see uh, what we can determine from there. Like I said, I don't like the fact these are proprietary adapters. Um, the micro USB uh, wireless chargers that use a standard micro USB cord and usually a USB or a uh, quick charge 2.0 or 3.0 power brick. I just like those a lot more because they, um, they're they universal. If you forget your charger in a hotel room or you know you forget to pack it, uh, there are other options if you want to use the wireless charger. We'll take a look here and let's see, I was going to say, I don't know if this will focus, but if it doesn't, I can read it out to you. This is a 
uh, universal, so it's 100 to 240 volts. Outputs a 9 volts at 1.3 amps. So, uh, some mental, mental math there. I'm not going to try. A 19 volts at 1.3 amps. Let's find out how many watts that is maximum. That is 24, there's the calculator to the rescue, 24.7 watts. That's a lot, a lot of power. Um, and then the Belkin, we did this in the unboxing. This is 15 volts at 1.5 amps. This is 22.5 uh, watts of output. So what that means is right now, um, these guys, you could see it on the box earlier in the video, both of these charge at 7.5 uh, watts. They charge an iPhone at that rate which is faster than the five watts that the iPhone initially charged at, but both these could output a lot more power than that. So again, I have no inside knowledge of anything. I don't know if they're going to increase speeds or if next year's iPhones are gonna charge faster, but I do know that a lot of Android phones charge at 10 watts wirelessly, and I believe the, uh, the Qi standard goes up to 15 right now. So again, you're going to you're going to lose power in your Qi charging because it's wireless, because it's inductive, uh, you're going to be losing power in the form of heat. But the fact that the Mophie power brick is almost 25 watts and the Belkin's 22 and a half, that means that there's a heck of a lot of headroom there because charging at 7.5 only takes about 12 or 13. So that's, that's half of what these power adapters can do. Now, the Mophie, to give a slight edge again, um, the cords, you know, the cords are very similar, honestly. I thought the Mophie felt a little bit better, but they, they really don't. They feel very similar material. Um, what I do like about the Mophie is that this, you can see here, this plug, you can see the shape. It's, a, uh, it's an oval, and it fits into this hole here on the charger. So you can see that just goes in. Both of them are barrel plugs, which is good. Um, so this one fits right snug in like that. Uh, the Belkin, because of the design, the Belkin fits in like that. So you can see it doesn't feel quite as sturdy because it's not gripped. Here, the, um, the barrel plug's basically going in every direction is fitting into this base. So, you know, it, can't, it doesn't go anywhere. It's very, very solid. The, um, the Belkin, there's a little bit of wiggle room here. Um, whether that's going to cause any issues down the road, who knows? Probably not, but it just feels like the Mophie, again, just feels like it's a little more refined. And for $60, um, that's a lot of money to spend, again, on a charger. So I just want to give you my impressions. So if you're going to be spending $60 on a charger, both of these have... Um, very, very adequate power outputs. Both of them, you know, will easily do seven and a half watts right now. That's what the iPhone's limited to. But I, again, I don't know anything, but I feel like the, uh, the charging pads could output a lot more than that because, again, why would they have an AC adapter that has that much overhead? Uh, a lot of the other charging pads come with adapters that are 15 watts and they output 10. So these adapters are 22 and a half to 25 watts, and they're outputting 7.5. So <laughs> there's definitely headroom there, which is pretty cool, because uh, that potentially means that you're not going to have to go out and buy another one of these next year if, like I said, the next generation of iPhones can charge at 10 watts or 12.5 or 15 or, or more. Who knows? Um, said so the Belkin, the Belkin's bigger. The Mophie's smaller, the Mophie is um, heavier, denser maybe would be a better word, it's denser, the Belkin feels lighter, uh, neither one has a fan or any active cooling, so they're both going to heat up while they're charging and then, you know, they'll, they'll cool that down as they finish, so nothing, you know, again, if you're charging at 7.5 watts, the phone doesn't really get that hot. Um, the Belkin adapter is narrower. I feel like that's a slight advantage. It's definitely an advantage because um, you could plug this into the bottom or top outlet. And if it's a narrow outlet, you know, if you don't have that much room um, either side of it, you uh, could easily plug that in. Or if you're powering, uh, powering in a power strip, for example, um, it wouldn't take up that much space. The Mophie is a square, and I don't like that as much because this is potentially, if you're putting it into a power strip, 
this is potentially going to take up either side too if there's no dedicated um, wall adapter power uh, socket in that power strip. So if I had to buy one right now for $60, um, because I bought both of them, whoops. Um, if I had to buy one of them, I would buy the Mophie. That's, again, that's mostly my personal preference. I feel like it, the, the fit and finish of it is just a little bit better. They both charge the phones very well. They both don't slip. They're both excellent chargers, as you would expect for $60. Um, but if I had to go with one right now, I would go with the Mophie. Thanks for watching the video, and be sure to uh, like it and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy what you're seeing. And I hope to see you guys in a future video.